Sam Olympic, go Olympic silver medalist Elizabeth Beisel making the trip down from Gainesville to watch the meet. Elizabeth, thanks for joining us. Of course, it's so great to be here. You've never had the opportunity to swim here at NCSA Juniors, did you? No, and it's incredible. I have never seen so many kids so excited to race, and it's refreshing for me to see because I need to be more like them. Well, I think part of it is they're, most of them are on spring break, so they're just excited about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. They're... Well, let's set these lanes for this eight final now. In lane number one, that's Alexis Prexy, Academy Bullets. Lane two, Rainy Moshes from Nation's Capital. Lane three, Catherine Dravit from Ozaki Aquatics. Lane four, Emily Barksdale, swimming unattached. Five, Margaret Arosti, Long Island Aquatic Club. Six, Carly Cummings, Condor Swim Club. Seven, Ruby Martin, Iowa Flyers. And lane number eight, Sydney Lofquist, Mason Manta Rays. So we had Katie, Katie Dravit, lane number three, just won the 200 freestyle earlier. Margaret Arosti, a great breaststroker, so we're gonna see a lot of lead changes, which I like seeing in the 4 and Probably as a racer, you don't like seeing anybody creeping up on you on any particular stroke. I, if you can, you always want to be in the lead, but being a 4 and or that pretty much never happens. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Katie Draybot was um, on the World Championship team for Short Course Worlds this past December with me, and I was fortunate enough to be on the a and free relay with her. So she's sort of like a little sister to me, so I'll, I'll be cheering for her tonight. Yeah, she's had a great meet so far. Let's see how she does here. So again, four links, four, not four links, two links of each of the four strokes. <laughs> Fly back breast and free, which brings up an interesting question. Some people were saying it'd be great to have an 800 IM in competition. Would you be for that, Elizabeth? In high school, yes. That would be a, that would have been my dream, but now that I'm getting older, my bones are starting to hurt, and I'm no longer a young pup like these kids. Um, but yeah, for people like uh, Katie Ledecky would be great at it. She just wouldn't die. But um, yeah, these kids could do it, not me though. Yeah, I think these kids would love to be able to put in the training because you have to. In order to do a four and IM, you have to be good at the two hundreds of the strokes, pretty much. So you know, just the only the thing about it is just oh, I'm just doing four two hundreds. Of course, that's easier said than done. Yeah, right. <laughs> so right now, lane number three, that's Katie Draven trying to take a little bit of a lead. Again, if she's leading after breaststroke, I pretty much could say she's going to win this race. She's such a strong freestyler, but I think she's pretty good across all four strokes. I've seen her do a 200 IM, and she's really good at that. Actually, it's Carly Cummings right now, 104.77. Then we got Draybid at second, 104.85. All right, Elizabeth, this is your stroke backstroke. Yeah. When you're, as I've said before, the, the 400 IM, you want to play to your strengths and work on your weaknesses. Obviously, backstroke being your best stroke, are you thinking push it, push it, push it? Or are you thinking hold back just a little bit to save up for that next 200? There's always a little bit of both in that, in the mindset when you're swimming a 400 IM. But for me, I'm more like save it up because I know brush show's coming up and I know that's my weak stroke. And if I'm gonna hold on, I'm gonna need to be able to be strong on that leg in order to win. But definitely always nice to get ahead in the backstroke. Well, I wouldn't say brush, well, maybe it is your weak stroke, but I mean, at the Olympics in 2012, you went into the lead on breaststroke. So obviously you did some work on it. So, uh, you know, obviously like, I mean, I think that that's a lesson for everybody. Work on your weaknesses and it will help you a lot. Absolutely. And especially in a race where it's so grueling and there's four strokes, there, you really cannot have a weak stroke if you're going to be good at the 400 IM or the 200 IM. Um, and, you know, Coach Troy worked on it a ton with me and it paid off. So. Everyone, work on your weak stroke. <laughs> and right now we have Ruby Martin in lane seven with the lead. So again, we have big lead changes and we'll see how this breaststroke plays out. Looks like Ruby's a great breaststroker as well. And we got some people challenging her. Katie Draven in three, Carly Cummings in six. Again, Margaret Arosi, a great breaststroker. So she's gonna be challenging as well. So we're gonna see how this all shakes out. Again, if Katie Draven's in the lead, I think it's pretty much all over, but again, she had the tuner freestyle earlier. I'm sure she's going to feel that at the end of this. Yeah, um, and I, at World Cups, we were in World Cups this uh, past fall, and I watched Katie Draybot get second to Katinka Hozu in a 200 short course meter freestyle. She went 153, and so, so that makes me agree with you. If she's touching first at this 300, I really think she'll be able to win this. Yeah. She's actually doing very well right now. She, 
Like I said, Margaret Arosti is the brush stroker in lane number five, so she may lead, but Katie Draper, if she's within striking distance, again, she's the junior Pan Pack champion in the 200 free. Went to Worlds in the 200, 800 free relay, so we're gonna see how this shakes out. I know the other ladies in this field know that she's a freestyler, so maybe they're saving up a little bit to save those legs to be able to race her. And we got a Rossi in first, 341.52. Draper in second. This is gonna be very interesting. And then in freestyle, I mean, obviously, you know, it's not an all-out sprint because you, you, at this point you don't have the, the twitch to do that. So what's going through your mind at the end of a 400 IM? Literally use whatever you have left. And sometimes it's a lot, and sometimes you're literally struggling to get to the wall. But honestly, it's the end of a race. You want to put everything you have on the line. And if it gets you second or first, whatever it is, you do it. Um, but, uh, you know, when you've got those teammates on the side of the pool yelling for you, that's got to go a long way. It's incredible. And these kids will learn it in college swimming once they go there. That team is literally everything. And they're already get starting early here at Junior Nationals. I mean, I've never seen so much team pride. It's awesome. Look at this, Margaret Arosti trying to hold off Katie Draven. Let's see if it's going to happen. Long Island Aquatic Club cheering for their teammate. Could be a little bit of an upset. It's going to come down to the last stroke. And it is Katie Draven by three, three tenths of a second, 447.56. That's actually a, almost a lifetime best for her. Almost got it. And then Margaret Arosi, a big lifetime best for her. And then in third, in lane number four, Emily Barksdale, 450.86, another lifetime best. You know, it's really interesting to see these kids do lifetime best in long course because they haven't been doing a lot of long course training. I mean, it's not easy to do a 400 IM long course if you haven't been training for it. And they're doing this 400 IM cold turkey. It's not like this morning they had prelims. They're, they're swimming yards in prelims. So for them to just come in at night and go a 447, like... I can't believe how fast these kids are. It's like, I'm glad I'm on my way out right now. They're getting too fast. Well, you you got a few more years until you're on your way out. So I think you're okay. But yeah, going 447 is it's absolutely spectacular. I mean, when you well, I mean, when you were their age, I mean, you were going under, you know, you were getting under 440 and everything like that. But I mean, it's got to say a lot about the future of I am swimming that a lot of these girls. I mean, there were more than 100 kids swimming the 400 I am this morning. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.